All right. Well, welcome again to uh, another episode of Get to Know You. This week we have Michael Burley. Michael, you are um, one of our most active youth. You hang out in the choir, you do the youth group stuff, and it is just uh, so awesome to uh, get to know you a little bit better. Maybe Thanks. people get to know you a little bit better and uh, give you a hard time on Sundays. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Like you do, like you do. So uh, I wanted to ask you: um, Have you did? Were you born in the Rice Lake area? Have you always lived here? Yeah, we've always lived here. I mean, <laughs> yeah, born at my house and never left. <laughs> wow, wow. So that's uh, so. You, these are going to be your stomping grounds for yeah. forever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whenever you come back here, you'll be like. These are my stomping grounds. This yeah, is where this is, I learned to walk. This is where I <laughs> grew up. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Uh, first of all, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a fresh, uh, not a freshman. I keep doing that. I'm a sophomore <laughs> at the high school. Well, it's a new year, new yeah. year. <laughs> sophomore at the high school. What uh, extra activities do you do? Well, right now I'm busy with homecoming activities. That's taking up a lot of my time, but I play French horn in the Red Cedar Symphony and uh, brass band. I piano and uh, I've done some theater stuff. But. Oh, wow. And uh, do you play soccer? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I was going to say. That's taken I, up a lot of time, too. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought I remembered soccer. Yeah, I've been playing some soccer. What, do you, what all are you doing for homecoming? Well, we, had a, we actually have a block party. It's this Friday. Oh, wow. So I got to make a class booth for that or help make that. And I'm a class rep for our class. Oh, so wow. I just get stuck with a lot of the work that no one wants to do. Wow, so you really are active. Um, the French horn, that gets you a lot of dates, right? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Um, have you given any, no pressure, have you given any thoughts towards future, career, ideas, or are you just leaving <laughs> it wide open? I don't know. I mean, medicine's on the plate just because of my parents, mm -hmm. but I haven't put very much thought into it. You know, and, and I appreciate that. I really do. Sometimes uh, we push you guys a little too hard yeah. to figure things out a little too early. Um, I'll just win the lottery. Yeah. Yeah. Work. They'll take care of everything right yeah. away. Right away. Mm -hmm. um, well, I wanted to ask you, um, what do you think uh, is some of your favorite parts about uh, the church, uh, youth group? What do you like most about our little uh, congregation here? I don't know. I really like how like everyone just it's like one big congregation. You know, everyone loves each other, everyone encourages each other, everyone talks to each other. It's just really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and uh when you get out in the world you might figure out that that's, yeah, uh, that's not pretty always. rare. Pretty rare. Although of course you have some experience uh with other churches. You did um Triennium this yeah. last year. Uh that you wanna really tell people what is what Triennium is. and a little bit about it? Well, Triennium it's this it's this gigantic Presbyterian gathering. It's held at Purdue in Indiana, and there's Presbyterians from all over the world. I met some people from, I think it was Bolivia, met some people from Spain, all Presbyterians, and there's people all from the country. There were, I can't remember, it's a couple thousand, I think, youth, and, you know, the worship services were just crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's got to be something spectacular to be in one room and hear thousands yeah, of voices just, singing. And... Yeah. And I actually, I had the opportunity to sing with the choir there. They had, you know, anyone who wants to come, you know, just come and sing. And here's a couple easy songs. It was just so cool because, you know, it was probably a hundred of us. And we got to sing at the last worship and we got to sing up there the balcony. And it was just, it was super cool. Wow, that is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Um, so uh, Michael here, um, we decided uh, since I was going to interview a youth, we might do something um, a little fun. A little out there we're gonna do um, the first um, challenge and for this one we decided to go for the hot pepper challenge now are you into spicy foods do you really like spicy foods the thing is I really like spicy foods uh -huh. but my spice tolerance is not very high <laughs> well all right we'll get to uh, we'll get to investigate that a little bit yeah. uh, today um, now uh, for this spicy pepper challenge we have a number of different peppers um, and in this challenge we're going to go up the scale i'll tell you just a little bit about the pepper um, most of them are pretty bland once you know it you can't find 
really spicy food in Rice Lake that Weird. easily. Um, but we're starting on the baseline. We're starting with the normal green bell pepper. This is going to take like one second. If you want to grab a slice and, uh, you know, cheers. Good stuff. Healthy treat. Mm -hmm. No problem taking that down. No problem at all. Now here we are. We have the poblano. Hmm. Maybe I should say it with a poblano. Um, pepper. Now, when they rate peppers in their hotness, they hmm. use something that's called the Scoville scale. And that goes um, all the way from the bell pepper, which is zero Scovilles. And the uh, poblano pepper here is um, sitting at right around a thousand Scoville units. So I thought we'd just take. Scary. Yeah, one to <laughs> zero to a thousand. That's right, no problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's. Here you go. Here's your pepper. Just go ahead and take a bite right out of the side just of it. Like an apple. Right, right. like an apple. Hmm. That's actually kind of sweet. A little bit, but yeah. Yeah. No problem. No problem. We took that out. No problem. Right. No problem whatsoever. All right. Keep moving on up. We have what probably everybody knows. We have the jalapeno pepper. This one, somewhere around 3,500 Scoville units. Right. So we went from zero to 1,000. 1, so to 3,000. 3,000. Right. Just take a bite like an apple. Oh, I can feel that one a little bit. Yeah. I think I took a smaller bite of this one than the last one. I took quite a big bite. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign if I'm already hiccuping. Oh, I can't swallow all of it. You all right? I'm good. I'm good. I just took a huge bite. Yeah, I took half the pepper. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so next, we have, oh my goodness, this is a serrano pepper. Small little guy, but this one, quite a jump up. Don't want to take a whole half of it? No, I'm going to take a, a nibble. Um, but this is sitting at 30,000. All right, 10 times the previous one. Yeah. Yeah, well, just hold on for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Similar to the bell pepper, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I don't feel like it's that much worse than the no. jalapeno. No, maybe not that much worse. If anything, it might have helped after the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. The little glass of milk this thing is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last, but certainly not least, um, we went right up the scale. Now, it's funny to me that they have almost no peppers in the grocery stores around here. But they have habanero peppers. Of course they do. This one is sitting at 350,000 uh, Scoville so, units. Let me recount. Yeah. We went from bell pepper at zero. Zero. To 1,000. 1,000. To 3,500. 3,500. To 30,000. 30,000. And now we're at 350,000. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, so here you go. Cheers. <laughs> That was quite a large bite. Yeah. You can definitely um, taste the evil. Yeah. In that, um, and my lips are burning a little yeah, bit. Make sure that. you don't touch your eyes. Right. We're going to have to wash our hands after this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this, one, this one's getting to me. <laughs> You know, it's not so bad in the 
mouth, but my lips. Yeah, that, uh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so what do you think, Michael? Do you think we, uh, we conquered this challenge? Well, I don't think I've ever taken a bite out of a habanero before, so. Uh, I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I think Michael beat me here, but go ahead and put your votes on it. Oh, my, Michael's getting a little bit red. I'm getting <laughs> Um, make sure you uh, comment on the video below if you have a challenge that you'd really like to take to Pastor Chris. Bring it on. I will accept your challenge. In the meantime, this has been Michael. Michael. Good to Bye. be here. Bye. And, uh, and this has been another episode of Get to Know Ya. Peace. Yeah. Now we got to go with the negative 1,000. Yeah. <laughs>